Hey guys, it's Visuals VFX here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mod menu using a menu base. Um, yeah, you're going to want to use a menu base, because if you're just beginning, or if you're not that good, you're really going to need a menu base. Um, even for, like, advanced people, they use menu bases, because it just makes it, like, a lot easier. Anyways, what you want to do is download a menu base. You can get these anywhere. Um, Seven Sins forums or downloads, uh, TTG forums or downloads. Xbox, MB, Game Tuts, Google, YouTube, modding trends, anywhere, you name it. So anyways, once you have a menu base, I'm using Skep3 because that's a really simple menu base. When you download it, you're going to get a RAR file, just extract that, and you should get like a readme, source file, common. All you're going to need is a common, it doesn't come with a code post or anything. You're just going to open the common in FF Viewer, wherever yours is located, mine's here, and right here. Just click FF Viewer, and when F once FF Viewer opens, I already have mine open for the purpose of this video because it takes a while. You're just going to go File, Open Fast File, and go to where your menu base is located and just open the comment and wait for it to load. Anyways, what you want to do, you're going to come down here and you're going to find debug.gsc. Um, it's sort of an alphabetical order, but some of it isn't. So once you have debug right here, all you got to do is simply click Control A and then Control C. That select it all and copies it all, and post and then make a new text document on your desktop and just click Control V, and then you can just save this as um, underscore debug, just like this dot gsc, and just click save. Make sure it's to your desktop so it's easy to find, and then go new, and um, go back in FF Viewer, and go to cheat underscore or underscore cheat dot gsc, right here. So same thing, Control A. Control C, and then you can just exit out of FF Viewer. Then click Control V, and then save as. Save this as underscore cheat dot GSC. It asks you exactly how I'm doing it. Like, make sure you know, like, put capitals or lowercase capital. Just make sure it's underscore cheat dot GSC. Now you can exit out of that. Now you're going to make a new folder, and this one's going to be called maps. No, or all lowercase, and then another one whatever you want to name the path. I'm going to call this tutorial for the purpose of this video. So anyways, what you want to do is you want to highlight both your, um, oh, I think I made a mistake here. Wait. Yeah. My U doesn't really work that well. Okay, anyways, underscore debug.gsc and underscore cheat. I'm going to highlight both of these and drag them into maps. And then you're going to drag your map folder into whatever you named your patch. Just like that. And you're going to want to create a mod shortcut for your World at War. Um, pretty simple. How you do this is go to My Computer, C Drive, Activision, or wherever you have it saved, Setup, Data, and you'll see Mod. Just click that and then copy this little URL. And just go right click New Shortcut and just paste it in here. And then go Next and it'll create a little Mods folder with an arrow. Um, that's just so you can drag mods into there and edit stuff really easy without having to do all that work. Anyways, just drag your tutorial folder into your mods folder. And um, you'll see I'm working on a menu right now. It's a dual menu base, but I didn't really name it anything special right now until I get more done with it. Anyways, um, now for this part, open Notepad++. Oh, and this is a menu I've been working on, by the way. It's not finished at all. I only have the main menu done right here but anyways you want to open um your debug and that so just go to your tutorial maps or whatever you name the patch and then debug drag that into notepad plus plus and it'll create a little new window hopefully um give me a sec there we go okay you can just exit out of this and Notepad++ is a really good program, um, like, everything functions with everything else, so, like, I'll show you that after what I mean, like, if I highlight this, like, it just, it's hard to explain, you gotta get used to the program, but it's really helpful. Anyways, to show you what to do, first of all, this is your basic mod menu, like, um, once you get more into coding yourself, you'll understand what functions and all that do. But as you can tell, main menu, that's just text. It has an empty function, does not do anything. When, when, when you click menu 1 in the uh, 
in the mod menu when you're playing World at War, the function is menu. So it'll open a menu. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it main mods. Just like that. And um, it corresponds with this menu. So that's the function. It'll open a menu once you click main mods. Once you click main mods, that is you're going to open the sub-menu 1, because this was sub-menu 1, but we renamed it. So now we're going to put this as main mods. Most of the stuff is just common sense. You can't really, like, teach no one. You'll just get used to it. So that's sub-menu 1, so we renamed that to main mods. So when you click that, it's going to bring up sub-menu 1, and that's going to be an empty function. It's going to be text. So you want to rename that to main mods, because that's what the option was up here. And now, as you can see, function, like, 2 or 1 or whatever, actually has like this is a sub option okay so we're gonna put god mode here for example god mode and we're gonna put aimbot here for another example aimbot so um now right here god mode is gonna correspond with this first function right here because the empty with this first quotation, this is empty function. It's just text. It's the bolded text to know what sub menu or menu you're on. <clears throat> the function one or two, whatever you want to name this, is an actual function. It corresponds with the sub option one, which we renamed to God mode. So we're gonna make this function God mode because that's what we want. So you're gonna put toggle underscore God, and that's just the thread for the actual script. Um, you're gonna have to get this. You can get this off ETG Seven Sins, YouTube, Google, whatever or an archive program, which I have right here. Anyways, we're just going to look up God Mode um, right here. And you're going to copy all this. Toggle underscore God, and you can tell exactly how I put it. I already know the thread to this, so that's why I already knew how to put toggle underscore God. Just exactly how it's spelled. It is case sensitive. So just scroll all the way to the bottom now and um, paste this. Um, make sure that you have like all the quotations. Like, you don't paste on another line already or else you'll get syntax errors and make sure that whatever the thread is you thread it exactly how it is like down there up here or else you'll get compile errors and a whole bunch of weird errors so just make sure you put it exactly how it is in the first function or whatever one you want it to correspond with now aimbot you're gonna put i already know the thread for aimbot it's toggle underscore aimbot not all of them are like toggle but the purpose of this video, I'm gonna keep it simple and use pretty simple codes. Now you're gonna go back into COD5 codes, scripts, get aimbot, and you're just gonna copy all this. Go copy, and um, paste that back into the bottom. Right here, and then enter, and just paste. You're going to press enter after every code so you don't get compilers or whatever. Anyways, this thread is called toggle on a train bot, exactly how I spelled it. So you won't get compilers, but if you spell it different in the function, you're going to get errors. So pretty much this is just text. Um, this is the function, so you want to put it like, whatever you want this function to do, you type it exactly how the script is down there, and CODWAB will know to activate it when you click on the function in the menu. So that's sort of like basics coding. Anyways, um, I'll do one more. Or actually, I'll keep it simple for the purpose of this video. So now I just want to click save and exit out of that and open World at War. My World at War is located in my computer. Let me get this open. Acer, C Drive, Activision, Setup, Data, and Application right here. I'm just going to create a shortcut quickly. Okay, shortcut, and then drag the shortcut onto my desktop. So now you just want to open your World at War single player slash co-op. And mine's going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video until it starts up. Okay guys, my World at War is working. Um, now what you want to do is click mods, and you should see your um, tutorial folder right here. Whatever you named your patch, just double click that, and it'll automatically restart World at War. Okay, now that your World at War is open, go Solo, Mission Select, and Knock Your Totem. My updates don't work, so I can't keep a release or anything, but if you guys are wondering, like, if you haven't done a mod menu yet, and you don't have Nazi Zombies unlocked, all you gotta do is 
open your console command, click forward slash. Uh, first of all, go into options and controls, um, game options, and enable console, yes. And then click back to the main menu. Click console command, and then forward slash dev map, space, Nazi, underscore, zombie, underscore, prototype. Just like that. And you can just click enter, and zombies will start. So you don't really need to beat the game. It's just sort of uh, annoying to do this every time you want to test your mods. But anyways, mine's lagging for some reason, but if your thing stops right when it shows like the airplane pretty much, you'll have a syntax or a compile error. And that means you did something wrong or you used a bad code or something, so I can't really help you with that because like, there's like a billion possibilities. So this is going to be extremely laggy. Um, it does that with Camtasia. But anyways, um, just to show you that it works, press G, which is the grenade button. And there's your mod menu. We added main menu and that's it. And to show you that it works, we're gonna click that and you should see God mode. And God mode turned on and aimbot. So it works. Let's exit out of that. Sometimes it lags a little bit because of Camtasia there. But anyways, just to show you that it works. Yeah, there you go. So it's working. Um, I'll throw a grenade quickly, just to show you that it's working. Lost no damage. So, yeah, you guys know it. Uh, please subscribe, I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you have any more questions or troubles or you want a more advanced tutorial, next time I'll do that too. So, once again, please subscribe and hope you like the video.